Hello. I do not have an intro, so I will just say hello. Now, before I start this video, I just want to say I'm really shit at making videos. I don't know how to edit, so, you know, just bear with me. But there will be timestamps in the description referring to different parts of this video, so if you have an issue, like if you don't know how to get a Ybot, then you'll click on that timestamp. If you don't know how to record or inject the DLL, you can go. So it's just go in the description and you can see the different sections of the video. So I'm going to start off with getting it. Now, you need to join the Ybot Discord server, which you can literally just... I'll put a link in the description, just click on that, join the Discord server. And once you're in here, read this, getting Ybot. Basically, just pay $4 and send it to this guy right here. Send it to that email. Just copy and paste to be safe. And uh, on PayPal, <clears throat> you can send with like, notes. On PayPal, when you send someone money, I mean you can add a note and in that note you want to put your discord name and tag like this and once you've sent that to him just send proof of the payment <clears throat> which you can do in your email you'll get a receipt from PayPal in your email and then you just send that to him along with the text from the hardware ID.exe program which is here and you just download this and um, run it but if you don't want to run it just follow these instructions right here it's really simple so now that you have you know you've you've paid him you've done all of these you've sent proof of your purchase you've basically just followed the instructions in here and here so now that you've done that you want to open your so he'll send you a download link and you want to download this because he'll send you ybot.dll so you've got this link now what do you do with it because he just sends you a link that looks like this no he sends you a file sorry that looks like this and that's it so what do you do with it well i'll show you so this is the next section of the video you want to go on steam and you want to well you don't have to do this but i like to do it just browse local files and put the ybot in here so as you can see, my whiteboard is right here in the geometry dash files. You can put it anywhere you want, but you need to know the download location. So wherever you've put your whiteboard, what you want to do, you want to press that around here and Control C, or just copy. And you want to control, you want to copy this and this location. And once you've done that, we're gonna head into geometry dash. One thing to note, however. If you don't have if you don't have MegaHack V6, you can do this with MegaHack V5. So not to worry. You want to go if you have MegaHack V5. I don't have it installed currently. I think. Yeah, I don't. So if you have MegaHack V5, which is free by the way, you, you can download that easily. Just look at, just search up MegaHack V5. Um, you want to open it and go into global and near the top bar ish you should you should see inject dll and you want to press that but if you have mega hack v6 like me you just want to press tab and right here inject dll you want to press that so once you've pressed it you should be taken back to your desktop and you'll have this right here now mine's already on here because i've used this bot before obviously but yours might be like, I don't know, in desktop or something. I don't know where yours might be, but it might start here. And wherever you put your Y bot, you want to press here and control V and then press enter. Because remember, we copied where you put Y bot. So now Y bot will be here or wherever you put it in your case. And then you simply want to press on Y bot and open. Now this will pop up. Now you can use Ybot in no you can use Jump Trash in windowed mode. Um and use Ybot, but I usually just like to have full screen geometry dash and then using that like, tabbing out, but for the sake of the video I will use windowed geometry dash. Now that you have geometry dash and Ybot, so what you want to do now 
you actually want to get um i recommend you get also cheat engine which just search up cheat engine on google and download it so once you have these programs open you're ready to record a macro so yeah that's the next section of the video recording a macro pretty much quite simple so if you haven't already you can literally just type help here and it will show you every single command command sorry uh, it will show you every command but we're going to focus today on play name record name fps and frame advance so this is just the basics you know i don't i don't i haven't actually used these ones right here so i'm not gonna pretend like i know about them because i don't so yeah so let's just i'm, I'm just gonna do a simple level I've, I've already completed this legit by the way so, so i suggest making a copy if you don't want to complete a level accidentally to create well to start recording first of all you can go on cheat engine open make sure you open the one just says geometry dash not this program file shit so just geometry dash open and enable speed hack and i'm just gonna put it to 0 0.25 because why not and also while i'm at it i'm gonna set my thing to 240 fps and here now you're gonna press record what well, you're gonna type i mean record space and this has to be one word. So if you have a title of a level that has space, you don't want to put space. You want to put three underscore seconds underscore hell. And then you press space and you put your FPS. So I'm going to put 240. 240 is a sensible FPS to use. I'd just recommend using that. And then you want to press enter. And now you're going to start recording. So, I would just press on the level and go into practice mode. And now, this is important. So, with checkpoints, I suggest don't go up and press checkpoints at the same time. Only when you're not clicking, you can press checkpoints, just to be safe. So, only when, like, this applies for everything as well, like ship and anything. Don't press checkpoint whilst you're holding in something or clicking because it might mess up the bot. So, because this is really awkward on 240 FPS, I'm going to use frame advance. Now, this is frame advance right here. So, it's really simple to use. You want to press V and that will like essentially pause the game. And every time I press F, it moves forward one frame which is helpful in cases like this. So I'm going to move to like the very edge here. I'm going to press Z just in case I die. And then I'm going to hold the click and then I'm going to continue pressing F. And as you can see, I'm going up now. And it's working out quite well. And then when I want to stop, I'm just going to press Z just to be safe. I'm going to go down. Actually, I'm not going to place it there. I'm instead going to place it here just to be safe. And then you can continue pressing F. These, this is only used like frame advanced. You only really need to use this for like really hard and precise levels such as this level. Uh, normal levels though, you should be fine. Oh fuck. And it's just this basic oh bloody hell and shit. Don't go too close to the roof. I'm just gonna try to do this. Yeah. So just do the level in practice mode and try not to place checkpoints in dumb places. Like that. And once you've completed it. You can press, you can type stop and also remove this. And now if you want to play it back, you simply press play and then three underscore seconds underscore hell or whatever you named your file. And then it will play it back and then when you press play, it should complete it. Uh, usually the first attempt it dies. 
Um, I don't know why, but I don't really care. But yeah, that's that's basically it. So that's how you record a um, macro. And then you can press stop to stop it actually recording, not paying back. That's how you record a simple macro. Um, I'm going to move into the next section and tell you what if my level is very detailed and you want to showcase it on YouTube. Because if we go into a very detailed level, such as Requiem, I've made a bot with Requiem. As you can see, if we play it, so as you can see, it's working as fine, but because this level, as you can see, it's going slower than it usually would, and the sync is off, and so why is my game running very slow, very, very slow? That's because your computer can run, not run Requiem in 240 FPS because Requiem is insanely detailed and running that in 240 FPS would be computer suicide. So how did I manage to do this then on my YouTube channel? How did I manage to do this then? Running perfectly fine. Well, basically, you can see my FPS counter right here is 60. But I recorded it in 240 FPS, so how does that work? Well, what I did, instead of running it in 200 FPS and in real time, like this, what I did, I went on Cheat Engine and applied 0.25 speed. Now what happens, when you enable speed hack on 0.25 speed on Cheat Engine, because 0.25 speed is slow, that cuts your frames in half. So if I was running this at 240 FPS, then when I put in 0.25, it runs at 60 FPS, which you can, yeah, it just does, trust me. And um, that means my computer, in my experience, will be able to run this because it just can. It can run it at 60 FPS fine, but not so much at 240. So now when I play this in slow motion, the bot will play back Requiem just fine. So in slow speed, it's just, it's not slowing down or anything. It's running at a constant speed. And then what I did, I played this I'll just let this run at 0 0.25 speed and then I am um, speed it up in my editor and then it makes the level look like it's normal speed and running just fine and that's how you make a showcase that's how you basically showcase heavily detailed levels like that I'm gonna make another one a glue is like a ship challenge I've already made one um, I'm going to play it for you guys real quick. Play Gloom. Yeah, 240. So as you can see, I've already made one. Turned out quite well. We want... Oh wait, sorry, I had no clue on. But as you can see, it's it works just fine. You know, with or without no clip. Um, I'm going to show you once again because the three second hell one was kind of shit so i'm gonna show you because um a ship might be hard to because if you put the checkpoints in the wrong place then your whole macro is just gonna fuck up so i'll just show you where to place the checkpoints specifically so yeah so remember the we're gonna press record i'm gonna name this gloom 2 because i've already made one and 240 so we're now recording and you just want to press play and practice mode and I also want to do this in 0 0.25 speed for obvious reasons. We don't need frame advance of this, I don't need it anyways, but yeah. So whilst we're going up here you're just going to have to put in attempts until you do it because you don't want to press place a checkpoint whilst whilst holding or clicking. So just do this, it's not that hard, it's just going up. And then when you get here, you can let go for a little bit, but I messed up there. And when you can let go, that's when you should press checkpoint. So like that, like that, you know. And here, oh no, I died, so I'm not there. So just fly, do your thing.
and then when you let when you let go, you can proceed. Um, obviously, hard levels. But I think this is the hardest ship level. It's gonna be hard, even in slow, because it's it's still hard. You know, it's not exactly an easy level. So you just want to keep going. So just try to pray, place checkpoints in safe areas. You should be fine if you do that. Your bot should work just fine. So when there's a tiny drop, that's usually when you want to press, place a checkpoint. This um, this part right here looks... I think that was fine. I hope, anyways. I'm an idiot. Alright. And now you can do stop and put this in one. Go out here, press play, and then title of the level. And then play it back. And it should work just fine. Obviously, it dies first and then plays it back. And because I, press, I placed checkpoints in appropriate spots. It plays back just fine, and here we are. Level complete. So, I guess this is the end of the video. This is all you really need to know. And once you're done with Ybot, by the way, you just press quit. Type quit. And that's that. And, um... Yeah, that's it, really. That's how you use Ybot. That's the basics. Alright, the basics. So I guess this is my outro. So I hope this video helped you understand Ybot better. And uh, I haven't actually asked this a lot on my channel. I don't think I've ever done it. Maybe once or twice. But if you like the video, like the video. Maybe subscribe if you want. But um, yeah, I hope this helped you. And uh, yeah, I'm out. By the way guys, just before I end the video. This is me editing. Look how many cuts I've made in my video. Like all those little lines that you see. Those are cuts. This took me a long time.